Behind me you can see why Fermanagh is so famous for its miles and miles of waterways. We're going to find out more about some of the things that you can do on the water and some of the stories from Fermanagh down in Inniskillen. Sarah, how are you? Very well, thank you. What an amazing location for the castle. It must have been of huge importance. Absolutely. And the castle is here because of the water. So the castle itself, over 600 years ago, was built because it guarded one of the view passes into Ulster. And the waterways would have been full of activity. So it would have been the M1 at the time. It was the easiest way to travel around, not by road, but by water. And uh, the Maguires, who uh, originally built the castle, they were, were renowned as sailors and, you know, would have used cot boats to get around. I've learned an awful lot today. It's been a pleasure taking the tour with you and I look forward to chatting to you again. Very welcome. Now, there are many methods of transport around Loch Erne. This is a completely unique one. Paul, tell us about this classic boat. Well, the ferry class, which survived here in Locker, and originally there were 11 boat, boats built, and we have, uh, of the original 11, 10 still sailing on Locker. And you've got to think about these boats as really the, the Ferrari or the Lamborghini of their day. You know, there weren't cars on the road, so the landed gentry or the rich wanted to have speed, they wanted to have style, and this represented that combination of things, and of course the perfect backdrop of beautiful Locker and what what better mix could you possibly have? You had to have a classic looking yacht and this is why the fairies survive and, and look as elegant today as they did 104 years ago. Now you simply can't come to Fermanagh without going out on the water or doing something that's involved with the water. I have the pleasure of speaking to Martin from Waterways Ireland and he's going to tell us more about the kind of things that you can do. Martin, how are you? How are you? Lovely, Brian. Good to meet you. How are good, you? Good, good, well, good. Very welcome to this wonderful part of the world. Thank you very much. Tell me about the waterways of Fermanagh. They're probably one of the most beautiful waterways in Ireland, if not in Europe and in a, if not in the world. They're, they're, they're uh, wide open spaces. Uh, uh, we have a lower lock, we have an upper lock and there's such a, a, a plethora of things you could do on the waterways. You have rowing, you have skiing, you have jet skiing, you have wakeboarding, you have cruising. You can hire a boat, you can hire a boat to go fishing, you can hire a boat to go for a family holiday. Uh, some of the, the finest cruisers are in Enniskillen and you can go uh, uh, water skiing and various things like that. Now Waterways Ireland have a huge involvement in an awful lot of events right across the lake in Upper and Lower Loch Erne. Tell us about some of them. Uh, we have Discover Days which is something we came up with a few years ago to discover you know your own town, find out what's on your own doorstep. We have classic fishing, uh, we have world pike championships, we have water skiing events, we have wakeboarding events uh, and we have golfing events uh, right across the waterway. We have a, a plethora of events that, that uh, are wonderful and attract huge amounts of people to Fermanagh. Now the beauty of Loch Erne, the beauty of Inniskillen's location is that if people don't have a boat they can also get out to the island? Yes, I think that's one of the important things. Not everyone can afford a boat or not everybody has a boat. Uh, so there are a number of ferries that operate in Enniskillen. There's the Lady of the Lake and there's the, the Share Centre boat and then there's the Kestrel. And they'll take you on trips up to White Island, to Devonish. Uh, they'll bring you to the hotels uh, because a number of hotels you can actually go to by water as well. When you come to the country and you come to Fermanagh, you never know what you're going to see on the lock. I don't think you'll ever want to leave. I think once you come to Fermanagh, you're here for good. I came here 10 years ago and I haven't left and I'm sure I never will leave. And what better way to finish off a beautiful day on Loch Erne than with a bit of culture? I'm going to the theatre. Thanks, right, Martin. Have a lovely evening. Thank yeah. you.